It was a great day for horse racing. Punters and fashionistas making the trek out to the west to catch up with mates. It's really positive. Everyone's jovial and it's a good community event. And even seeing people that I wouldn't expect here are here that I know from Adelaide. The fashions on the field was once again hotly contested. Junior Colleen went to Callie Lehman, while her brother Cody took out the junior Paddy. Colleen of the course went to Adelaide's Nicole Wensky. It was so lovely and obviously great, you know, someone donating the prize in memory of a loved one. You know, it's really special and I have been successful in fashions before, but it's really nice in this community to be able to get the win. Miss Wensky travels around to different race meetings and competes in the fashions always putting her best foot forward. Um, but last weekend I went to Murray Bridge and today Broken Hill and then I'll put it, um, yeah, I'll probably put it on hold for a little while until next year. But it's just nice to see different, meet different people, see different racetracks and enjoy the racing. For the second year in a row, Adelaide's Iman Gafari was named Paddy of the course. Love Broken Hill, honestly, it's, it's good. I'm here, we work with Robert Williamson on Lowstone Mines and um, every year it's just lovely, people are great and yeah. Good times. After the excitement of the fashion simmered down, it was back to the horse racing. And for the first time in St Pat's history, the Outback Cup ended in a dead heat, with Valaro and Magnosifa crossing the finish line at the exact same time. Yeah, no, that's all right, mate. We've got a trophy out of it. Like, well, you never forget the day, do you, when you, when you run a dead heat in the, in the biggest race meeting in the town. Jockey Murray Henderson happy to share the spoils after a great race. Yeah, it still feels all right because I've won the cups, previous cups like um, I've, now I've won uh, three Silver City Cups and three Saints Paddy Cups, so I don't mind sharing the spoils. We're already looking forward to next year. Joshua Mercer, 7, Spencer Golf News.